Hey guys, this is Elias Sims from ChichiCheckIt.com here with the first ever After Effects tutorial. And don't expect much from this tutorial today, guys, because um, it's basically just going over the basics. So if you've never picked up anything in After Effects before, then this is great for you because you'll know the basics and you won't have to be asking me all these questions like how to open crap and stuff like that. So if you're more advanced in After Effects already, don't worry, those tutorials will come after this, but I need to get this stuff out of the way just so, you know, people aren't hounding on me in the comments and stuff. So, um, let me just introduce myself. I'm Eli. I'm the editor of the videos that you see on Chicha Check It's Clan. I'm also the lead singer of Save Your Bullets right here in the blue. Boom. And, um, yeah, you guys probably saw that music video that I edited on... YouTube that it's called Hot Mess in a Dress. Uh, there's a lot of effects that I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I did it. So um, stay tuned for that because you guys asked if I could do that and I will. So um, let me just get started by showing you guys how to import a video into After Effects. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either hit Control I and it'll bring up the little search menu thing or you can just double click in this blank canvas area and it will bring up the same window does the same exact thing and uh, from here you can search for the footage that you want and um, yeah I'll just go to the green screen it's not a big deal um, let's see which videos should we use um, hmm. you can just look how about the yeah we'll use this one this one was it's pretty good. So, boom. When this thing comes up, just hit OK. It's not a big deal. Uh, this right here is your footage. So, there's a couple ways you can put it into After Effects and start editing it and putting effects on it. The first way is the easiest way. You can just click on it and drag it into this area. And it will use the settings that... This video already had 12, or not 1280, but 720, gosh. It's 1920 by 1080, that's full HD. And um, that'll just use those same settings, so I'll delete that. That's the first way. Second way is you can drag it down onto this little composition thingy, and it will bring it up doing the same exact thing, taking the exact, what is that, like the info? Yeah, whatever. It uses that exact info and creates a, composition for it. The last way, uh, you have a lot more control over it. You can just click that little box and uh, you can create the exact way you want it. The dimensions, the quality, you know, you can make this 30 frames per second. Now, oh, whoops, can't really see the mics in the way. Okay. And um, yeah, with this, you have a lot more control, but you know, no one really wants to type that in. They don't really know anything about it. So, I'm just going to use my normal way, click it in there. And now that you have your footage in here, uh, there's a couple things I want to point out up here. Basically, you have these uh, these mouse thingies. And with these, they do a lot of different things. But a couple of them you don't even need because they're already taken care of within your mouse. This button right here, I'll you'll never see me just select that to move this around. You can hit the space bar and it does the same exact thing, even with this selected. See? Boom. With control, or not control, the space bar down, you can just move it around. It's very amazing. That rhyme too. So, the second one is the zoom. You'll never see me just click to zoom. That's lame. You will always see me have something selected and then just use the scroll wheel. Oh my gosh, I just can't talk. What the heck? The scroll wheel. There you go. See? Well, that was uh, a little awkward. <laughs> you can just use the scroll wheel to uh, zoom in and out. This you'll never uh, see me use either because it's kind of just retarded. You can just go down here and select this and hit R and it does the same exact thing. So the next one is this, the unified camera. We won't use that until we get into 3D this same thing won't use that till we get into 3d this rectangular box is uh, something that can be very annoying because it can act as a mask 
as you can see but if you don't have this selected it creates a shape now this is really cool and everything but a lot of the times it's a lot of beginners don't realize that they don't have it selected and they just get pissed off and then they just X out of it or do something break their keyboard because they're so just mad and they can't figure out what they're doing wrong it's because you need to have it selected in order to make a mask same goes with basically anything you need to have this selected to create effects see that see how the effects are highlighted right now well if I don't have this thing selected look it you can't even get to any of them and a lot of people they're just like oh my gosh what am I doing wrong blah 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 poop and that's just a really simple mistake so um yeah this thing can act as a mask you can do all these different types you just uh, click and hold on it and then don't let off and you can select one of these by just letting go boom see now I got a weird looking mask um, the way I just deselected that was okay I have it right control Z and um, it gets rid of it pretty simple now this is the same way if you don't have the layer selected well I have it selected right now it creates a mask and this is how you rotoscope and we'll get into that too later on more advanced but um, as for if you don't have this thing selected it creates a shape and it's very annoying boom you got a shape um, text layer you'll never see me just go up there and select text you'll always see me go control T same exact thing shortcuts remember those um, brushes I never use a brush clone stamp you never see me use that either sorry guys if you want to learn about those just type it in, in Google a lot of people make After Effects tutorials um, the eraser tool that thing's useful but um, we're not going to be using it today uh, the rotoscope brush this thing is awesome it's new with CS5 and um, it cuts rotoscoping down probably by 75 percent it's so awesome I'll do a tutorial on that thing because it is amazing and the last thing is the puppeteer animator thing basically you can animate objects like a picture you can um, make it move you can do all this stuff with it you basically plant points and then you can move them and it moves that specific thing see that think of this was like Spongebob and he's doing the wave or something you know it's pretty cool <laughs> and it uh, really added a lot to After Effects and I'll show you guys how to use that in more detail later too but um yeah that's the basics of these little things up here now we'll go over to um, motion tracking I guess because a lot of people get screwed up with that too it's the same exact thing as if you don't have it selected you won't be able to use it so boom um, I don't actually I don't think I'll get into that today cuz there's a lot to motion tracking there's just so much to After Effects you guys I'm excited to start doing these tutorials so I can finally have someone else to talk to about it you know I got so much on my chest and I got no friends besides Brandon and he's always making Photoshop tutorials so I, I just I feel lost so thanks for being my friends guys and um, I guess I can move into basic editing in After Effects. So guys, check us out. <sighs> if you have this thing selected, and look how long this thing is. I think it's 20 seconds? Oh no, it's more than that. It is a minute and 20 seconds long, approximately. You don't want to do effects on something like this. Normally, I'd bring it into Sony Vegas right here, and I'd edit it down, and then I'd go and find it and bring it in here. So then I have the exact length of the clip I want, and I can put the exact effects I want on it. But um, if you guys are just lazy or something, you know, say I just want the part where he freaks out right here. <laughs> Sorry, Trex, and if you ever see this, you can uh, you can slap me on the butt or something gay. Um, 
So if I want to start clipping this thing, the normal way to do it is to first duplicate it with Control D, or you can just probably copy and paste it. Let's see, let's see. Control C is copy. Control V is paste. Yeah, same exact thing, but it's way easier just to go Control D. Um, yeah, so Control D, and you have these two things. And uh, this works really good if you want to change effects in the middle of it or if you just want to edit it down. Because you can either just go like that, boom, and then have this thing go like that. Or the easier way to do this <laughs> is to go Control Shift D. And it should splice it in half, but mine didn't do that for some weird reason. Um, probably because my computer is being weird right now. So you can just go Control Shift D or just go up to this edit split layer and it does the same exact thing so you have a basic cut and then you can just delete the bottom thing and boom you have it up to the point and uh, let's say you want to go just to where he freaks out Ugh. Mm. you can go control shift D mine's not gonna do it of course so go up to edit oh whoops up to edit split layer and then delete the after part now you're like, wow, Eli, you just created a really small thing. What do I do now? You can do this, my friends that are asking these weird questions. You can drag the composition length in. That's these little bars up here. Just to approximate it, you know, it doesn't have to be that. If it's that long, you won't be able to get it exact yet. Then you go to trim comp to work area see that and then you can just drag it in again oh what, what, just, what just happened boom and boom trim comp to work area and boom you have your perfect little clip edited down very cheesily edited that's why you use something like Sony Vegas which is way better than Final Cut and stuff <laughs> Now what, guys? Let's see. We have our little edited clip, so um, you can select it, go composition, make movie. This is how you render stuff, and uh, you don't mess with the best settings or anything unless you have a really crappy computer. And my favorite settings are QuickTime, Photo JPEG. There's just tons of options. Look at this. Boom. Some people like MPEG-4, but you do get some pixelation sometimes, but it is much smaller than Photo JPEG. So if you're looking to conserve memory, if you don't have a terabyte or, you know, you're running low, then go ahead and use MPEG-4. It's not too bad. So uh, I think normally it's not at 100%. It's probably at like 80, but I put it up to 100. Hit OK. And um, that's all the file size that we need. You go to... It may take your computer a little bit longer, but don't be discouraged, you know. It's just my computer has a bigger wiener. It's it's not a big deal, all right? Just let it go. Don't hate. And, um, yeah, just showed you guys the basics of rendering it out. How about saving? Um, you can go up to File, Save As. We'll just call it T-Rex is gay. Save boom and now it's saved and uh, that whole time your computer should have been auto saving but if you want to check exactly how it is you can go to auto save all I did was go to edit preferences general and then you can just go down to auto save and you can set exactly when you want it to autosave, all that stuff. Believe me, guys, you want it to autosave. If you don't have it autosave, it's going to suck. You're going to spend an hour on a project, and uh, you're going to lose it. So just make sure you go in there and tweak that. And then the appearance, you know, I, I'm keeping mine at default, but normally I put it down to the darkest as it can go because I do a lot of my editing at night so it doesn't hurt my eyeballs 
Um, but, you know, I'll keep it at default for you guys because, you know, I love you guys. And, um, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and ask. This is the first tutorial, so I'm sorry if it's kind of boring. But now that we got the obvious stuff out of the way, we can start making good movies and stuff. So, uh, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.